Electrifying news at Eco Expo Asia. Trikes are now going electric in the expanding sector of green transport. The school run is set to be more fun as just one of the intended uses for the three-wheeled vehicles. Asia is a big market. So we're already selling into Thailand now, so the tuk-tuk is quite old. We have tried to design this to make sure that we take into account safety. So there's a metal framework inside here, uh, recyclable panels on the outside, but it, it's a safer, upgraded version of a tuk-tuk. We see the school run as definitely around Asia as a big one. Well, we came here last year, uh, but we didn't have the vehicle ready last year. We had a lot of interest and a lot of leads that we followed up. And we're, we're about to open a, a factory in Europe for the European market. We have a joint venture partner there. We actually met them at this show last year. From the air we breathe to the homes we inhabit, the Echo Expo Asia presents a new world of options. Energy aware, smart and with style. The 12th edition of the Expo was organised by the Hong Kong Trade Development Council and Messy Frankfurt HK Limited, and co-organised by the Environment Bureau of Hong Kong SAR Government. The theme, of the theme was Innovative Solutions for Greener Cities. As a leading international trade fair on environmental protection, the Expo attracted 340 exhibitors from 19 countries and regions. Amongst them, Finland, France, Germany, Italy, and Singapore. There were pavilions from the EU, Canada, Japan, Switzerland and the Chinese mainland. And for the first time there were group pavilions from Bavaria and Korea. There are a lot of overflows on the streets when the people just throw away the waste. Uh, to prevent that sort of a problem, uh, we invented our clean queue. Uh, it's different because it uses firstly a uh, solar panel so it runs by the green energy. And secondly, when it checks the fuel level, it compacts the waste, so it prevents the overflow on the streets. This is our first time to be here. I'm very impressed with all the other new technologies. We see a lot of chances to be collaborating with our products, our technologies that we have. A highlight this year was the new startup zone with 15 exhibitors. I invent this rechargeable noise barrier. It can be very easy to move. Uh, the installation time can be one or two hours, and it can be up to seven meter height. The normal noise barrier, they need a very heavy foundation. Yeah, in terms of noise reduction, it is uh, providing 20 feet dB reduction. Normal barrier only requires 10 or 15 noise reductions. It has been quite well because different contractors approach us to use the barrier. And I think it may be useful for other countries. So I hope using this opportunity, other countries, somebody would notice there is such a new technology in Hong Kong usable in their country. Green buildings and energy efficiency was a main zone. Another key area was the waste management and recycling zone. And the air quality zone and green transportation also featured prominently. The expo attracted some 93 buying missions from 28 countries and regions, which consisted of more than 2,300 corporate representatives. Networking sessions were plentiful, so new connections could be easily made. Echo Expo Asia is a platform for innovative green products and a place to meet other green companies, officials and individuals. A smart conference with solutions for everyone.